for me, human design, I, the longer I'm in it, the more I f see and I feel that it's such an amazingly graceful tool. It's, uh, what, what I particularly like about it is that it, it gives you both visions. It gives you the vision of what is correct and it gives you the vision of your conditioning and, and it, that for me takes away the wanting to go to a certain goal. It gives an, it, it has this capacity of immediately uh, allowing acceptance inside which you know f in the end is like those glimpses of the of of life that acceptance can bring me and they are only like they come in glimpses for me those are the most amazing experiences in my life like those are the moments that i i get to see the the innocence of life and the tremendous joy that it is to be here and to have people in my life and just to see what life like it's such an amazing experience and I'm, I'm really glad that that's something that human design brought me because it's just like terrific and I know talking about experiences that I mean being a reflector has has been this n not necessarily instantaneous satisfaction within the process. Like it's a long process, sometimes kind of difficult. And, uh, uh. But I remember a couple of years ago being exactly at this spot, actually. Uh, Nisark had mentioned me that Ra told her, listen, you know, why don't you check out 28 days alone? She told me and, you know, it stuck, but didn't see myself going like, okay, I'm going to take my backpack and go 28 days somewhere. But two years later, not a couple of months ago, I, I met a guy who uh, was doing this kind of vision quest, which is some kind of a Lakota tradition, apparently, from the Indians in uh, North America. And uh, he said, you know, if you want, I can drop off some food in the mountain from time to time and some clean water you take your tent and you go off so the, yeah <laughs> this is time to do this and which was really beautiful because it's just at the end of my first seven year, uh, year cycle and and i was so surprised by what came up uh, being alone for 28 days like how that started feeling in the beginning, you know, the, to feel such a density somehow slowly, slowly drop off in the first four or five days. And then you know, having this, yeah, like slowly opening up of spaces. And, and I know that I'm connected to the moon and I, but there is one thing is to look at the moon through human design lens and you know checking the program where is the moon doing my lunar odyssey like Darman taught me and that obviously is a very enriching process for me but just letting go of everything like of my computer of everything not not really knowing where the moon is what it like just you know go after a while it really brought out what what the purpose of that you know, thing was, I remember that Ra told Nisark, like, go out, go and check out your own aura. And I was so amazed by what is in my aura. <laughs> I didn't know that it was so innocent and that it was so light in a way. And that, uh, that actually, you know, it was the first time in my life being alone that I could really allow myself to be lunatic and change a lot, you know, like emotions come, go, then I jump into joy, then I go into sadness, then I, you know, run around like a kid and an amazing spontaneity unfolded, uh, unfolded itself, which I, I really enjoyed a lot. But in the end, um, the, the most beautiful space 
for me that I that I got through that experience, but that I know comes out of you know living with this knowledge, is that um, it there is an, a, a, a much deeper acceptance than before, and there is a tremendous gratefulness that comes along with with this knowledge for life and for who I am and. And I, I really kind of surprised myself that, you know, this being, what is going through this being is that. And it's like, wow, you know, this is life. And this love yourself, yeah, slowly, slowly, I get to have a much deeper appreciation for that miracle that, you know, runs through me. And that's thanks to human design. <laughs>